Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. I want you to punch and kick the shit out of the subscribe button. Peacemaker is complete. All eight episodes are available on HBO Max. I didn't seen every episode twice and I still can't get enough of this show. If you haven't seen you, Peacemaker, what the fuck you doing? Go and watch this shit. My boy Peacemaker wakes up in the hospital, right? He thinks everything is right in the world. He thinks he can go scot-free. Nope, he made a mistake. Mern and his crew, they show up, sent by Amanda Waller herself. And he has to complete this mission, Project Butterfly. And when you see what these butterflies look like, it is fucking crazy. They're very intimidating. They're way more intimidating than them whack-ass scrolls in that mediocre MCU film, Captain Marvel. Man, fuck them scrolls. The butterflies is where it's at. And then the White Dragon... Peacemaker's white supremacist father, he's a good character too. And look, I know that's weird me being a black man saying that a white supremacist character is a good character and that he's cool, but he's also a fucking asshole. So I wanted him to fucking die and I wanted them butterflies to die. But man, James Gunn is a genius. The way that he blends action, comedy, and drama is just the right formula. What we need in this day and age. The writing is very bold, very ballsy. In this day and age, you got a lot of humans talking about you can't do this, you can't say that. Fuck all that. You ain't got to cater to them weak-minded fucks. You just got to do what you got to do when it comes to telling these stories. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this show a 9.5 out of 10. It's one of the best comic book shows I've seen in the last handful of years. Very creative. It's better than all them Marvel Disney Plus shows. The only one that can sit comfortably next to Peacemaker, right? To keep it real, would be the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The rest of them, uh-uh, hell nah. But man, all these characters are awesome. Judo Master, that's a badass motherfucker. You, you wouldn't think it just by looking at him. But man, there was a scene where he beat the fuck out of uh, Peacemaker and Vigilante. Man, the villains, White Dragon and the Butterflies, that shit is on point. And uh, Adebayo, like all these characters are just fucking awesome. But my top five favorite characters in Peacemaker, let's see. Peacemaker, Vigilante, Harcourt, uh, Economos Dye Beard. And then Mern, those are my top five favorite characters. Man, shout out to Adebayo, man. She was she was killing that shit in the finale of, of Peacemaker. There's something that happens in the finale that just made me want to be a superhero and shit. I was like, where my cape at so I could fight me some crime? And there was a couple episodes when I was looking at Harcourt where I just thought about fucking the shit out of her on an open field after we didn't take out them all, like took out all them butterflies and shit. Man, yo, Harcourt was looking good as fuck, and she's a badass. I love me some exceptional women. This show is full of exceptional characters. Let's just keep it real. If you ain't watching this show, if you haven't seen it, you fucking up. I know you're probably waiting on some MCU show. That's cool. I love the MCU too, but sometimes in life, you got to hop off that Marvel dick and go watch you some DC. Check out Peacemaker. It is absolutely worth it. Terrence out.